What's up, guys? Welcome to the Floaty Cast. Scott Steckley here coming at you with another rogue ish deck profile. This one's probably as on top of the charts as any other deck I've done, um, more so even. Uh, it's seen a lot of top placings, a uh, few top placings at least uh, here and there. Uh, I think it's super powerful. It's one of the decks that I've been kind of hyping up uh, since day one, uh, and it's doing really well with the. Um, lack of spread damage in the current format um, so we're talking about a one prize or we're talking about a deck that takes a lot of setup now the interesting thing about this deck and we're going to go over in a minute is that there's two very different builds that have very different play styles for this deck now the attacker is the same uh, but the support mon are what really make the difference now um, we're talking about rapid strike malamar right rapid strike malamar um attacks like a truck it's uh, people are comparing it to the old baby bucephalon which is a fair comparison i mean you just add up cards in your hand and then you do a lot of damage right uh two very different attacks that achieve the same thing uh i have two deck profiles for you today uh i will go over the one that i don't like as much first um now i will caveat that with saying that it is doing better in tournaments um, so I think it's just a play style preference for me. Uh, so we will go over that deck list first, and then we will go over the one that I like, the more hyper aggressive one, the more that just draws cards naturally rather than, you know, trying to set up in other ways. Um, so let's take a look at both of them. But before we do make sure, like always, if you like what we do here, like comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, click that notification bell. That way, you know, when we come out with a video, uh, me and the counterpart, Steven Maxlow, we got a lot of stuff coming out, um, a lot of new things coming forth, and uh, we don't want you to miss it at all. So let's dig into it. Okay, so Rapid Strike Malamar. The first list we're going to be looking at is the one that uses, utilizes the Inteleon engine. Now, there are some benefits to this over the list that I prefer. Um, there's also some negatives, right? So, both of them, though, they attack with this guy, uh, Rapid Strike Malamar. Uh, his attack, Rapid Strike Tentacles, does 40 times. Uh, it reveal any number of rapid strike cards from your hand that includes Pokemon, uh, trainer cards, stadiums, energy, anything. And this attack is 40 damage for each card revealed in this way. Uh, then you shuffle the cards back into the deck so you don't even discard them, right? So it's basically endless um, quantities of damage that you could just stack on and stack on um both decks play this octillery rapid strike search i'm sure you're familiar with it already if you're not you can search out any rapid strike card just once per turn though so um, it helps you find the pieces that you're missing if you're missing any just maybe you need another rapid strike card to attack or maybe you're missing the malamar or maybe it's the start of your turn you don't have a hand and you need a karina's focus to kind of power back up now the difference in this deck as opposed to the other build that we're going to talk about, is it plays the Sobble, Drizzile, and Inteleon engine. Uh, it's a very common support theme uh, in this current format, uh, and it's very obvious why, right? You can just search out your items. Um, you could search out uh, more items with Shady Dealings, right? You could search out any of these trainers, any pieces that you might need, the brawlies that kind of stack your bench. Um, this one also, though, has access to the quick shooting. So a lot of times with this deck, you're short by 20, by 40, um, by some stupid amount of numbers that, you know, if you just had one more Rapid Strike card, then you would be able to do it. Uh, then you'd be able to take the knockout or you know you're just setting up precursors to be able to do that later on so having the quick shooting ability is super nice and it's a rapid strike card so you know let's say you're playing uh you search out all your items you quick shooting and you still are two rapid strike cards short well guess what you know a quick scoop up net um and then you're scooping up the Inteleon, the Drizzile, and the Sobble. Two of those are Rapid Strike. And you're kind of resetting the idea that you can just search out items again in the future. So super good. Other than that, though, you got your basic, you know, super consistent 4 4 4 4 4 4 everything, right? Uh, you have four Evo Incense, four Fog Crystal, three Great Ball to search, four Level Ball, because most of the things in here are under 90. Uh, one ordinary rod to shovel everything back in one rescue center rescue center is super nice in this deck because it could either get you your your um in case that you discarded you know so you can play rescue 
Uh, and then you could, you know, put the NKs back on the bench and then you could ordinary rod to Malamars. So essentially you're getting two full lines uh, while setting it back on the bench and not having to research them. Or you can get your Remoraids or your Sobbles, any of your Rapid Strike cards just for that extra damage. So um, super good in this deck. Scoop up nets because you could just scoop up a million things and always get the Rapid Strike. You play three Brawlies, you're probably ever only ever going to play one of these. Uh, but they're rapid strike cards, so it's nice to add the damage on there. And you need to hit it early so you can set up as many rapid strike Pokemon as possible. Uh, Bruno, which is the core of the draw support, you t you know you get a knockout, you draw seven cards instead of four, or somebody gets a knockout on you rather. Uh, Karina's Focus is another rapid strike supporter that's super nice and a clutch. You play four of the Spiral Energy and then two regular Psychic Energy. So that's the until that is the Inteleon build, right? Uh, let's go over the one that I like a little bit better than this, and I'll explain why. And we have the GOAT of the two decks, right? This is definitely my favorite. This is the one that I feel is more consistent. Um, you're not searching out your items. You're not searching out your things, but you are just drawing a ton of cards. So um, the support Pokemon that you're playing here instead of the Inteleon line is you're playing three Machino, three chinchino and you're just drawing 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 discarding the things that aren't rapid strike hopefully hitting two rapid strikes along the way uh you're still playing your 4-4 malamar right you stole your main attacker you do what play one pikamuku um i'm on the fence about this card i like it because it's always going back into the deck it's always making sure that you you know you're going to search out and it's literally never a dead card you could play it um constantly uh the downside is if you start it kind of it feels horrible right um it's not a rapid strike card so you can't shuffle it back in for that um and it just draws you so it's essentially like playing a 59 card deck um, i'd almost rather play another rapid strike card so this uh in this list for me it goes down to am i playing another brawly am i playing another stadium you know am i playing another scoop up net uh things like that right so it's nice because it draws you a card but uh i'd almost rather it be something that i can attack or it can add damage with so um you be the judge there it's in the list for now it changes out regularly that's my like swing card so to speak um and it's fitting because it's essentially like playing a 59 card deck uh you play the three three artillery line and then it's just straight consistency from there you play four evo incense four fog crystal four great ball four level ball you play two of each of the recovery cards uh, two scoop up nets, two towers, which is great because it gives you the free retreat just in case they try to trap an artillery or something like that. And with everything running around with four bosses, that's a high probability. A uh, one Brawly because you're drawing everything. You really don't need Brawly all that much. Four Bruno, four uh, Karina's Focus, four of the energy, and then two Psychic Energy just like the other one. This build I prefer not only because you're drawing cards, but you don't have such a big package to search what you need and what that does is it allows you to play more consistency now the intelli online is really consistent once you get it started it's hard to stop it's from steam rolling out of control it basically finds whatever it needs every turn the downside to that is you're utilizing your rapid strike cards in order to find that you're finding items to find other rapid strike cards the other thing is because you're playing such a big package in order to have that quick shooting things like that you're really minimizing the amount of actual consistency trainers that you can play so i think this version is better because in my experience i get set up turn one and turn two a whole lot faster than the other one and the thing is, is with the speed that decks are right now if you don't get set up turn one turn two you're you're kind of on a on a slow path to losing take that with a grain of salt uh maybe it's a sequencing issue maybe it's a thing maybe it's just difference of play style right i think this version is better it's more my sort of go around it's hyper aggressive i basically just want to see 10 cards eight of which are rapid strike i want to take knockouts and then i want to just do it over and over again um, without further ado though let's dig into a game i'm going to be playing with the chinchino build um, you'll get to see that in action against mu v max um, and then 
you know, we'll go from there. All right, K Bond's calling the coin flip. Um, if we we lost, so uh, we'll see what he decides. You do want to go first with this deck, um, much like any deck in this format. You want to set up, setting up is key here. Um, so we're kind of at a disadvantage. I know I say that a lot when doing these things, but um, going first is definitely the power move. Uh, let's see. So the hand isn't great. We are going second, so we'll be able to Bruno. Um, and we'll be able to Fog Crystal for an energy, um, things like that. So it's not too terrible, depending on what we get with Great Ball. Um, we'll see, though. Uh, it does look like we'll be able to set up for maybe an attack on, you know, turn two. We are playing against a Mu V Max deck, so we got to be super careful. Uh, he gave us three mulligans, though, so three additional cards. So I don't think we'll be Brunoing because it makes more sense that we get, you know, all the pieces we need this way, right? Uh, but we really didn't get much. Um, so we're going to have to do something. We'll see what we draw off the Great Paul, right? Because we don't even have that many Rapid Strike. He's playing the Peony build, uh, which means he probably has access to Cross Switchers and things of that nature. Um, definitely not the more popular build. But it's, I mean, it's super strong anyhow. Genesect is just absolutely insane. Yeah, and obviously we're just going to draw five. We're just going to see a million cards on turn one. Okay, so we got another Bruno. Um, I honestly don't care for this. Uh, so let's get the Rummer Raid. And then, yeah, we're going to have to Bruno here. Uh, just because we don't want to put anything else. We want to see more cards. We want to try to set up some Minchinos here. Uh, not too shabby. Uh, not Definitely not my favorite uh, of all time, but we'll be able to draw more cards. Um, and it's important to note that we have to take two knockouts, possibly three. They have to take six. So uh, we can afford to lose in K here, um, especially if they do that, right? So that is not what you're supposed to do against uh, Rapid Strike, right? You want to be able to go 70, you know, shuffle back, right? You want to take out the little guys. Uh, you want to make sure that I can't, if I do injure you, you want to be able to reset the damage to force me to just constantly find it. Um, but it does look like he's missing the switch, which is great for us. Um, okay, because we're just going to go like this, right? So we're going to find this. I'm going to go here. We'll attach here. And we're going to search for a Krenus Focus. Okay, so we got the Tower of Waters. We got this... Um, That is fine, actually. Let's 
get the other Mincino. And I think it's fine if we get rid of this fog crystal. Since we have the energy in our hand. Let's see here. Alright, just in case he gets antsy, we'll go ahead and play this down. Uh, so the goal is here to, you know, obviously draw what we need next turn, right? And if for some reason we can't do that, uh, we scoop up the Minchino and we keep, or just scoop up the Chinchino, right? Promote the thing and we just keep drawing until we get it. Uh, he is going to take this knockout though. So hopefully we draw Bruno off of this. Uh, there goes the sparkle. So right now he has what he's going to have possibly all four in play. So once we start taking these knockouts, he's not going to be able to recycle it. So we want to get rid of the training cord as well, right? We want to limit the amount of times that he can get his energy back. So we did get the Bruno. Okay. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and Bruno. Uh, we will go ahead and get this. So this is two. Oh, we grab the Malamar. We have to do some damage this turn, even if we don't get it all. Hmm. Sixty, two hundred, two eighty, where I save the play this guy down since I'm two shutting him anyhow. We'll play that on him. We'll go bam, bam, bam. Bam, for 200. Or 160, rather. Nice little two shot range. grab the chinchino it looks like if he takes the knockout with this i actually don't like that at all for him he's leaving me available to get three prizes and he's going to do it okay so he's going to leave me an attacker to take an easy knockout and save my resources That's one, two, three, four. Is one sixty correct? Yeah. So that's a. 
enough right there. So we're going to go 40, 80, 120, 160 for knockout. We're going to keep our great balls in order to find more Pokemon. There's the Bruno for after he gets this knockout, the rescue carrier, and the Kratos focus. So this isn't too bad. Um, he's actually going to do me the favor of making me take three knockouts anyhow, which is uh, very nice of him. Um, I'll take the Malamar. So I already have 40, 80. I have to get rid of three, right? already have it. I kind of want to leave the rescue carrier there, um, but I need to set up another NK, so perfect. Okay. NK is fine. get him and him it's just so we could draw more cards next turn if we need to one two three We'll take the big old one prize. And we have two left and he has one attacker in which he has to take three prizes with. Now the bad thing is, is he can always psycho jump. So he could play down a Mew and he could start psycho jumping or something along those lines in order to keep me from knocking him out. Now the downside to that is if he doesn't promote the one prizer, if he promotes a two side, two prizer, and he's just going to do that. Okay, so now I have to hit eight, correct? I believe that's the number. So we'll go here. We'll fog crystal for the psychic energy. Put back in some Rapid Strike Pokemon. So right now I have one, two, three, possibly four, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe that's game. So I'm gonna grab this Malamar uh, with that. Oh no, I still need to evolve. Okay, so I have to play this smart then.
So I'll play this down. All right, so now what do I want to keep? I want to keep an energy for next turn. So one, two, three, four. That's fine. I believe if I do four, then I'm still two shotting him. He has no other attackers, so it's not like he can he can psycho jump away, but I only need two prizes. So he then promotes the one prizer and he has to reset up. So I don't think I'm in too terrible of a spot because psycho jump doesn't knock me out anyhow. Um so we'll see what he does. Uh he definitely can't promote a two prizer. Um and he definitely doesn't want to leave this me Max that's ready to be knocked out, right? So, the training court is good for me um, as well. That way, I don't have to utilize any of these energies, so I'm that much closer. He's gonna max miracle. I think that means I can have game. All I need is four, right? So, uh, I'm not in too bad of a spot here. Um, as a matter of fact, that is it. So, we'll go ahead and training court for this for the energy. Put that back just because we need the Malamar. We'll rapid strike search for the Malamar. We'll go ahead and we search out the two NKs, and that is four rapid strikes, um, equaling 1600 or 332 or 320. Uh, for the knockout and the win so as you can see i mean just being able to swing that prize trade just being able to take those knockouts even two shotting things uh is super super nice he tried to swing it back into his favor by using the one prizer uh but then he was stuck in a situation where he couldn't promote anything without me knocking it out now it would have been nice to take a huge knockout uh we did get super close we were one card short uh given the right scenario it's not that difficult uh, but you're not really punished for two shotting things especially if there's no healing and they don't have access to repeatedly cycle jumping and uh utilizing that you know attack in the most effective manner so there you have it guys uh rabbit strike malamar i prefer the chinchino build uh play whatever you feel is best